My name is John Devine. I was a dog handler in the SEAL teams. Ito was my dog. Prior to becoming a SEAL canine handler, is you have to be able to walk, chew gum, be a SEAL, and then do it with a four-legged toddler with teeth attached to you at the same time. I met Ito at the time he was probably like nine, nine, 10 months old. He was a big goofy, they were calling him Scooby-Doo basically, because he was just like, looked like a freaking puppy and had like this like super long nose that was um, just longer than, than most dogs, which kind of made him look a little goofy. But come to find out after I actually learned more about dog anatomy, that longer nose meant more facillary glands. I remember one scenario, my dog catches wind of something and we're tracking now for about a mile, which is like insane. And there's like this tiny little hole in the ground, like a little dead bush over top of it. Pull it out, there's a hole and you, you can see like bags in there. There was over 13,000 pounds of explosives in there. When I have friends that are coming home getting blown up and friends that are coming home missing legs and friends that are uh, just not coming home the same, I knew that finding IDs was like the number one thing that was gonna make a difference. And due to a reconfiguration of billets, I had to hand my dog back in. And um, I had to hand him back to the, uh, to the teams and gave a crash course to the next handler as best as I could because I knew that the best pass down that I could give to this handler would probably increase the likelihood of them being successful. Yeah, I never went back to see him after that. Because all that could ever do for him is confuse him and who he's supposed to listen to. And the best chance that he had for being successful would be to just fully bomb the next handler and forget I ever existed. It would only be selfish for me to try to find him. It would only be for me, it wouldn't help him.